What we're doing is a uh, a grid in two point perspective. So the way you begin is by drawing any two lines you feel like. You want them a reasonable distance apart. Whoops. <laughs> All right. And you want two going to each vanishing point and you want them all to intersect each other. Just like that. All right. So now we have a plane defined here. Um, and even though it looks like it's a funky shape, you have to be able to imagine it in your head as a rectangle. So these technically are 90 degree angles. We're just seeing them in perspective. So we're going to use our, our normal subdivision method uh, by drawing an X corner to corner. And we're going to subdivide and subdivide and subdivide until we get our uh, 4 by 4 grid, except in two point perspective. All right, so this defines our center from both vanishing points. So we're actually going to pull this uh, off of uh, both vanishing points and go right through the center of that. Boom. One. And two. All right, so we're going to have to subdivide a lot because it's in two point perspective. Um, so we have to subdivide each one of these planes in both directions. So it's gonna get to be a crowded drawing. Um, if you're following along, you should probably use two different colors of ink or pencil. That would be my recommendation, just to be able to keep the construction lines separate from the uh, grid lines and the finishing lines. Alright, so we've subdivided and we've got another couple of planes defined. So we have to subdivide here, we haven't subdivided that yet. There and there. Okay. And we're just going to keep pulling back to the vanishing point. All right, so we can see that we have our subdivisions this way, and we have four subdivisions this way. So now we have to add more subdivisions for this uh, for these two planes, and we'll be done. And then we'll add a little value and kind of make a checkerboard pattern. All right. You can make this grid as dense or as compact as you want. Um, and it'll all depend on what you're eventually trying to uh, represent. Now what this is doing, it's not training your, just your ability to do this mathematically, it's also training your uh, intuitive sensibility as to what uh, grids look like in perspective. So there we go, we have a grid in perspective and uh, just to highlight it I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to um, fill in a checkerboard pattern on, on the grid. just so you can see it a little bit better. And this is something that you'll use uh, to project, project objects uh, in proportion to each other. Um, it'll be great for drawing, uh, drawing landscapes, drawing streetscapes, um, drawing things like uh, 
cars or any any uh, objects that are lined up in rows. Um, there are an infinite number of applications of this. So you want to really master this skill. And uh, even if you're not necessarily using a, uh, a grid like this in a drawing, uh, you'll want to be able to uh, have this in your head if you need it. Imaginary grids work too. All right, so now that draws a little more attention to our actual grid. And there we go, a uh, grid in two-point perspective.